Hey, and thanks for joining me on this edition of How to Build a Backlink. I'm your host, Jason Brown, the co-founder of SERP Woo and the inventor of SERP Tracking. And in this video, I show you how to get a backlink on Vox.com. Now, I will warn you, um, for some reason, this website um, did not want to have me sign up. When I did sign up to verify my email, gave me unauthorized Gave me a lot of errors. Uh, so if you just imagine 404s, unauthorized, not being able to log in, this is exactly what I got with this uh, website and this backlink. But I was able to kind of power through and I'll show you the tips and tricks of how I did that. So let me switch screens right now. And what you should be looking at is the correct spelling of vox.com. It's vox.com. And uh, this is what it's going to look like when you actually hit the website. Now, a little bit differently, this website, you've got to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find the author login at the bottom on the right. Now you wanna click that and you'll wanna go over to sign up. Uh, once you sign up, you can put in your username, email and password. You will need a valid email address because you will have to verify the link that comes through. And I will tell you this, uh, when you verify the link, when it comes into your email, you're gonna get an immediate error page. It's just gonna be a blank white page that says unauthorized. That is at least at the time of me making this video, this, this could be cleared up later. But if you see a white unauthorized or a 404 page, don't be alarmed. Uh, you are verified now, as I later found out. Now, after I verified that, um, verified that link, I couldn't log on. Normally, you would go back to the vox.com homepage, scroll all the way back down where the author login was, and you can edit your profile there in the footer or sign in through that author login link. Neither one of those happened. I kept getting unauthorized. So what ended up happening was a few minutes after I verified that, I got another email from Vox that basically congratulated me from signing up. And in that particular email, it had a direct link to my profile. Uh, I clicked that link for my profile. Again, this is the second email that came minutes later. I clicked that link uh, that went to my profile and I went straight to it. I was already logged in. It had all my information as far as like my email address and my username and so forth. And it just let me in. So that's kind of the, the bypass trick. You wait for that second email. It gives you your URL to your profile page. And once you click that, you're logged in and you're right on your profile page. Now, let me show you what that looks like. This is the exact profile page for me. If you look up here at the top, the domain has changed. It's voxmedia.com users eliquid2, which was the username that I used, uh, account. Now, I have noticed that with building this backlink, sometimes I get vox.com, sometimes I get voxmedia. I'm thinking voxmedia is apparently the parent company that owns a lot of different websites. Vox.com is just one of those. Regardless, on this uh, account profile page, I was able to change any of my information that I needed to. But where I wanted to go to actually drop my link, I believe was under edit profile. And I was able to actually enter in here on the center of the page, the website name. Uh, so you get an anchor here. Google five is what I use for all of my links. And then the URL, which is also Google five that I use for all of my web links as well. Once you hit update, it will actually be a part of your profile now. Now to get to your public profile, uh, I just went to uh, the little avatar in the upper right hand corner, went to public profile, and here it is here. Here's eLiquid2, and then here's my link, the Google 5 link. This is where your profile will live and be. So there is um, a little bit back and forth trying to, na to navigate this website right now and there are problems, but I was able to figure out how to drop the backlink waiting for that second email and verifying my address that way and coming in through the profile, through that second email and then dropping my link. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, maybe be notified of future videos where we show you how to build backlinks on websites. A lot of those links are do follow. Uh, many of them are high authority. They're all crawlable and indexable by Google. 
and you'll be notified as we drop each one of those links so that you can expand out your link building profile. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.